This is a horror game. This is also a horror game. This isn't supposed to be a horror game, but it is the game that scares me the most. My name is Zaylerinst, and today I'm going to explain why this simplistic sandbox game I've been playing since I was 11 scares me in a way that no horror game does. Now I know what you're thinking. Minecraft is the scariest game? Are you stuck in 2010 when stories of Hero Brian made you too scared to walk in the dark at night? Well, no, or at least not anymore, but let's not talk about that. Before Minecraft became the game that terrified me to the core, it was actually the opposite. It was the source of all calm, an escape, a break from reality. It brought me away from all the things I hated and feared. Away from homework, assignments, exams, and taxes. I'd come home from a day of school, boot up the game, and spend my time doing whatever I wanted. Minecraft was my creative playground where I was free to make my own stories. If you want to beat the game as fast as possible, the game lets you do that. If you want to beat the game while being in a boat the entire time, the game lets you do that. If you want to kill everything and enslave an entire generation of villagers to satisfy your inner dictator, well then more power to you, the game lets you do that. If you want to spend 5 years of your life playing hardcore mode and then dying anticlimatically to a baby zombie, your name is PH1 Elsa. Jeez, what a stupid name. Imagine naming yourself something that's hard for other people to pronounce. Man, what a dick. But congratulations, Mr. Filza. The game lets you do that too. This freedom to do whatever I wanted really vibed with me. My favorite subjects in school were math and science, so Micah filled in the gap as my outlet for creative stuff. I'd go from creatively building a solid cube stone brick house in my first world, to an unfinished mansion in my second world, to whatever the hell this is in my third world. Things were going well. And then on one fateful day, I would develop this strange feeling. An unknown fear. There was this sense of uneasiness each time I continued my third survival world. That an impending doom was looming right in the corner. But I could never really pinpoint what it was. It must be the fear that's created by the ambience of the game, I thought. I'd keep my guard up. This will pass. I won't have to stay in the nether for long, I told myself. I'd exit the nether, and then, the fear continued. But I tried to think nothing of it. I'd be frightened by the cave ambiences of the overworld, and my mind would be temporarily freed from this fear. But then it would come back. If it was the game's ambience that I feared, why was I still scared of it even when it's no longer there? A small part of me would worry, a small part of me would be scared, and I would not know why. I still enjoyed the game. I loved doing the usual things like building a house, fighting mobs, and mining a cave for resources until I ran out of torches. But this unknown fear would continue to fester. Each time I booted up the launcher, I would receive a small sense of dread. It wasn't until I began making videos about Minecraft that I began to realize what this fear was. I wasn't afraid of the possibility of the game potentially sneaking some horror elements into my world without my knowledge waiting for their moment to strike. The ambience of Minecraft played into the immersion, but it wasn't what I was truly afraid of. I was afraid that I would one day quit the game permanently. You see, Minecraft is a sandbox. It's open world. It's randomly generated. But most importantly, it was endless and had no story. This isn't like Persona 5 Royal, where the game ends once you defeat the final boss and the credits start rolling. Minecraft had no end to the game. Technically, the end is kind of false advertising because you're not going to stop playing the game once you defeat the Ender Dragon. Minecraft truly ends when you stop playing it. My fear was that one of these days, I will place my last block. I will break my last block and I will leave the game never to return. Leaving behind everything I had done in the world with any evidence of me ever existing to slowly fade away and be lost to time. In a weird kind of way, part of me actually wishes I never discovered this fear. Ignorance is a bliss. The unknown has always been a bit of a comfort to me, you know? Once I truly know what I was afraid of, I began to constantly worry if this was the last thing I ever do in the game, or if this large project can be done before I quit the game forever. While it's not a one-to-one -one comparison, this feels somewhat similar to how I feel in real life. I'm 21 years old, and in June this year, I'll be 22. 
another step closer to my death. Knowing that I will pass away at any given moment in the future scares me. It could happen when I'm 70, it could happen when I'm 40, or it could even happen tomorrow. And I constantly worry if I have left enough of an impact in this world before I leave it for good. Whether I have said how I really feel to those I care about in life before I lose my opportunity to do so. Minecraft terrifies me the most out of any game because it fears me in a way that's unique compared to horror games. It touches on an existential fear I have that life has no meaning, or that I haven't given my life any meaning yet. Why are you trying to escape the inevitable? You know what you're doing is meaningless, right? You will leave as a nobody. You are insignificant. You are replaceable. No one will remember you. You have not done enough. It is too late to change that now. These were the thoughts that feeded my fear of quitting a game forever. But why is that? What makes Minecraft in particular so special to me? It's not the only game I've been playing for a very long time. There are plenty of other games I've been playing since my childhood and yet I could just quit all of them easily and not feel any form of grief doing so. Why is that? Well, they simply didn't have what Minecraft had. They didn't have what makes Minecraft, Minecraft. Well then, what is Minecraft then, Zay, you may ask? Funnily enough, you'll get a different answer depending on who you ask. To outsiders, Minecraft is just a simple sandbox game developed by Mojang. To rest on engineers and builders, Minecraft is a canvas for their endless creativity. To Jay Schlatt, Minecraft is not knowing how to play Minecraft, building your dirt hut as you survive through your first night. And if you ask me, I think Minecraft is all of these. It's hearing your friend in school talk about this cool new game where everything's a cube that gives you the freedom to do whatever you want and wanting to give it a try yourself. It's trying to survive through your first night at bare bottom health, completely lost and in fear for your life as you figure out how to play the game, then watching the sun rise as you breathe a sigh of relief. It's exploring a cave for the first time and then finding your first diamonds, jumping for joy knowing that you've just passed the major milestone. It's staying up late playing with your friends, back when the game was much simpler, back when life was much simpler, and your biggest worries were getting a good enough grade so your parents wouldn't be mad. Then logging back in the next day and seeing that your friends have griefed your house, those motherfuckers. It's googling how the hell do I not be trash at Minecraft after dying because you walked into a cactus whilst trying to escape a trader llama. And before you know it, you're binging Minecraft videos on YouTube, hitting the like button on the videos you enjoy. Minecraft is all of these at once, because Minecraft is about making memories. Minecraft is the story of someone placing their first block and one day placing their last. And that's why the thought of me quitting it one day absolutely terrifies me. Because I've played Minecraft for so long, there's a memory of it at every point of my life. Having to move on is also having to accept that nothing in life is permanent. Having to accept that my life isn't permanent. It makes me hesitate to ever trust or spend my time on something because it won't last. But that got me reflecting. And I asked myself an important question that would lead me down the path of acceptance. How exactly did I come across Minecraft to begin with? Well, I began playing Minecraft in the fifth grade of elementary school. I heard about it from my classmate and decided to give it a try over the year-end holidays. I would then play it all throughout high school. My friends and I would play the pocket edition in between classes and during lunch break. We'd have friendly battles on Clash Royale and then moved over to Minecraft to continue our fight there whenever we got bored. Peace was never an option between us. Everything was looking great. I scored straight A's for my O-levels, except second language Chinese because I suck. Things were looking up and the future was looking bright. And at the height of everything, it all came crashing down. I fell into depression during A-levels. My mental health withered along with my ability to focus on my studies, which led to my first time failing academics. I was an A student. How did I get here? How did I go from acing my tests to failing them? Was it all a fluke? If I was smarter, I wouldn't have thrown away my future like this. I have lost in life. These were the thoughts that echoed in my head and constantly reminded me of my failure. While on the outside, I was the same person everyone knew before, internally, I was barely keeping myself together for one last semester. Barely making it past the requirements, I entered the university. While I was still uncertain about everything, lost in life, trapped in my own thoughts with no one to help. 
falling deeper and deeper down a hole I could never see the end of. But throughout all these moments in life, in good times and bad times, Minecraft was always the game I fell back on when I simply needed a break from reality. I wasn't an ex-top scoring A-star student barely scraping by my A-levels or my degree. I wasn't a failure of a son who couldn't make my parents proud no matter what I did. I was just Zay, taking a break from all the worries of life, taking a breather before facing his problems head on once again. Letting go of Minecraft would be letting go of the one thing that has stayed constant throughout most of my life. The day I quit Minecraft would be the day I let go of the one thing I've kept since my teenage years. A farewell to my childhood. And a potential farewell to all the memories I have that made me the man I am today. But that's... Okay. I don't have to fear change. Because change is good. I have to accept that the Minecraft I know is changing constantly. The game I played in 2012 is not the same as the game I play today. If I could accept the fact that all my favourite OG YouTubers who I used to watch are no longer making videos I'd be interested in. If I could accept the fact that diamonds aren't as special as when I first mined them back in 2012 and generally aren't that special anymore today. Then surely, when the day comes that Minecraft is no longer the game that I have fun with, I can accept that too. It doesn't mean all those years were a waste. It doesn't mean all those memories were worthless or no longer have any value. Because part of accepting life is part of accepting that things change. To improve is to change. Despite the rocky start, I would persevere and graduate my university with first class honours. Despite my confusion as to what I want to do in life, I eventually got tired of imagining life as a YouTuber, and you're seeing my journey to becoming one right now. Despite everything in life crashing down, depression lost, and I am still here today, talking to you. To change is to constantly be evolving as a person, and if another game takes Minecraft's place in the future, that's fine by me. It's this knowledge that one day will be the last day I play my favourite game that makes everything I do much more significant. The same way knowing that I would die one day became a motivation for me to plan my future so I would have no regrets when that happens. Knowing your time is limited is an encouragement to spend it wisely. I could let my fear consume me as I stagnate without action, or I could use my limited time to leave something behind that proved I was ever here. To leave an impact on others the same way those that have inspired me have. Even if I quit, Minecraft will never be truly gone for me, for I have enough memories to last me a lifetime. But hey, that day is still pretty far into the future. I'm not going anywhere anytime soon. You'll be stuck with me for another year, or two, or three. So subscribe and join my community as we see where this journey leads us. And if you want my explanation as to why I said that diamonds aren't special anymore, then check out this video where I talk about all the reasons as to why diamonds lost their specialty. But before I see you there, I'd like to thank everyone for the support you've shown in the last video. Happy New Year. Cheers.